Listen. Listen to the sounds of the earth. Look for its vital signs. Feel its pulse. The earth is in trouble. Thousands of plants and animals are endangered and on the verge of extinction. They are vanishing at an ever increasing rate. Every day, at least one species disappears, a unique life form, gone forever. Today, tomorrow, the next day, and the next. The Earth needs our help. It is up to us to learn where and how our knowledge and our actions can make a difference. Appearances are often misleading. Our world seems to be solid and permanent. And yet everywhere, everything is in a constant state of flux, changing, growing, moving. Every day we make decisions that have far-reaching effects on the quality of life for people, plants, and animals in our environment. Even your decision to watch this program can be a first step in helping endangered species. We are all stewards of the earth, and we must all help take care of it. For not only are animals and plants beautiful and interesting, they are also vital to our survival. They give us food, medicines, wealth, and happiness. Their great variety gives us opportunities to use and appreciate them in new ways. Today, scientists around the world are studying animals and plants to help ensure that enough individuals remain for the species to reproduce and survive. However, there are other dangers. Too many animals are dying or being killed as a result of human greed and ignorance. Millions of animals are being killed illegally for their skins, horns, hooves, and other body parts to make human ornaments, clothing, and trophies. But even more animals and plants are being killed by human encroachment, by humans destroying animal habitat. This is the major reason for their endangerment today. It is an unfortunate equation. As human populations increase, the quality and amount of habitat for wildlife decreases. A century ago, tropical forests abundant with animals spread across the majority of the Earth's equatorial region. Today, only half of the original forests are left. And gone, too, are the animals that the forests supported. It is true that developing nations face many difficulties in protecting wildlife habitats. However, the trend in the United States is equally serious. This little turtle may not look like it needs much space to live, but it can't live in a parking lot or breed with another turtle if roads and buildings separate animals into small islands of habitat. We need to reverse this trend. It isn't enough anymore merely to know about the problem. We must act to change it. In recent years, zoos have accepted this challenge and have become important conservation centers. Today, Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle is successfully breeding many endangered species, including the snow leopard from Central Asia, the Bali mina from the Pacific island of Bali, the indigo snake of the United States, the dwarf crocodile from West Africa, and the lowland gorilla from Central Africa. As many as 35 different endangered species may be breeding at the zoo at any one time. Naturalistic exhibits are being built to encourage breeding and natural behavior in animals, as well as to help people better understand the relationship between wildlife and its need for habitat. 
Zoo education programs for all ages explore animal and human behavior through games and direct experience. Researchers conduct observational studies at the zoo to help animals both in captivity and the wild. In fact, zoos have joined together in their efforts to conserve endangered species. They share information, exchange individual animals to achieve better matches for breeding, and then follow detailed breeding programs called species survival plans. This cooperation has been one of the most important developments in recent years. Not only does it help keep captive endangered species healthy and breeding successfully, it also acknowledges the fact that conservation will only work if it is a cooperative effort involving zoos, governments, field biologists, industries, and private individuals. A zoo cannot be the Earth's last sanctuary. There simply isn't enough space for all of the endangered species and some may never be bred in captivity. However, successes can be counted. In 1978, Woodland Park Zoo received a pair of golden lion tamarins to breed as part of an international effort to save endangered species. Over the years, these animals did breed successfully in captivity. And just recently, in cooperation with the National Zoo, five of Woodland Park's zoo-bred tamarins, trained to forage for their own food, were released back into a protected wild area of Brazil, their native habitat. Although human politics, economics, and animal behavior can make the reintroduction of most species unrealistic, this is one case that serves as a model for the future. Woodland Park Zoo works to protect other species too, sometimes much closer to home. Since 1970, it has joined the Washington State Department of Wildlife in returning endangered bald eagles and other birds of prey to the wilds of the Northwest. These birds, when found injured, are brought to the zoo for care until they are well enough to be released into their natural habitat. Since the program began, more than 250 eagles, owls, hawks, and falcons have been treated and released by the zoo. Related programs throughout the United States have helped to increase the bald eagle population from an estimated wild population of 3,000 in 1970 to over 5,000 today. Similarly, the North American trumpeter swan population, numbering only 73 in 1935, now includes 900 wild individuals. Little of this would have been possible without the combined effort of many individuals, like you, to preserve large areas of habitat for wildlife worldwide. For without habitat, animals have nowhere to go. And you can continue to help. Remember that most exotic animals do not make good pets. And before you buy any pet, ask if the animal was bred in captivity or taken from the wild. Consider what kind of watch band you won't buy in the jewelry store. And think about the fact that it took eight of these magnificent snow leopards to sew this one now confiscated fur coat. Think about becoming a zoo member or contributing to organizations involved with habitat and wildlife conservation. Perhaps you will want to choose one of these animals to support with your time, money, letters, and ideas. Your support of the zoo as a visitor, member, or zoo parent helps Woodland Park Zoo continue its critically important work to save endangered species. Your decision to do something positive will make a difference. Listen to the sounds of the earth. The animals that speak a language we cannot comprehend. The tides that come and go to places we will never know. 
the seasons that arrive and depart in a whisper of time. It has been said, we have not inherited the earth from our parents. We have borrowed it from our children. Our children's voices are the sounds of the future. Let us ensure that their world remains a diverse and rich place for all species to live in. Thank you.